Four minutes. Thanks. Minister, as I, I know you're aware <coughs> uh, Ardmore, is, uh, Ardmore Studios is synonymous with the Irish film industry. It is, in effect, uh, the birthplace of the Irish film industry as an industry uh, since it was opened in 1958. Uh, it has propelled Irish filmmaking into the top flight of filmmaking in the world. Uh, it has uh, played host to some of the greatest actors uh, in the world, Richard Burton, Fred Astaire, Mel Gibson, Ray Fiennes, you go uh, through the list, some uh, amazing films there, uh, resulting in 14 Oscars from films that were produced uh, in, uh, uh, in Ardmore, numerous BAFTAs, Emmys, Golden Globes, uh, and so on. And uh, from the point of view of the local area, critical, 500 direct jobs, thousands of indirect jobs uh, at a public meeting, which unfortunately I couldn't attend because we were here debating the Stardust family, but I believe there was 500 people at a meeting in Bray last night, and local uh, people were saying that up to uh, eight, 9,000 jobs indirectly and I know, and again, I know you know, Minister, not just from the Wicklow and the Bray area, but many people, tradespeople, creative people, uh, people just working as extras from our own area, uh, constantly working in Ardmore. So any threat, any possibility that uh, Ardmore Studios might uh, cease to operate as a studio would simply be unacceptable. It would be the destruction of uh, a central part of our uh, film heritage, of our culture, uh, and obviously a, a massive economic uh, blow to a very, very big uh, number of people and to a very wide catchment uh, area. So I know again that you know, and I know you've engaged, I was talking to some of the trade unionists and so on uh, there that you've talked to them, and they welcomed, by the way, the fact uh, that you had engaged with them. But I think the thing that everybody wants to hear uh, is that there's going to be a commitment that one way or another Ardmore is going to be kept as uh, a going concern, as an operating uh, studio, uh, and that whatever has to be done will be done in, uh, to ensure uh, that is the case. Um, and, you know, under no circumstance should we allow a situation where it might be bought by property speculators or whatever, uh, but that it is maintained and uh, that we work to ensure that through, I know there's initiatives at a local level over the zoning to ensure that it, it, it is uh, the whole uh, complex, if you like, is zoned for film uh, only, uh, but also uh, that uh, the government steps in to the degree that is necessary uh, it already, Enterprise Ireland, whose job is obviously jobs in Ireland and enterprise, has an obligation to ensure that uh, the jobs is retained and the industry is retained, uh, but that whatever other initiatives are necessary are, uh, are taken. Um, the, uh, one of the points that was made by the workers talking to me earlier on was that uh, insofar as subsidies are given out to uh, domestic film uh, producing companies that there should be obligations on those companies to use uh, places like Ardmore which there are not so that with this joined up thinking if you like across uh, the film industry another proposal I think you know that's been proposed is a possible workers buyout which I think would be the optimum uh, solution where uh, those with all the fantastic skills and they're really everybody I talk to in the film industry says the technical level the skill level there is absolutely second to none anywhere in the world uh, that a workers buyout facilitated by the government would be another solution Thank so you. hopefully you can give us words of comfort that Ardmore will be retained to play its critical role uh, in Ireland's film industry. Thank you, Deputy. Thank you. Thanks very much, Deputy. Um, and I am very conscious of the anxiety that the uncertainty around the sale of Ardmore creates for the workers concerned as well as the local community. Ardmore Studios, Studios is a commercial entity owned 68.33% by private interests and 3167 by the state. The state's shareholding is managed by Enterprise Ireland. 
Enterprise Ireland inherited the stake from NADCORP, the former state investment agency, in 1986. And as a passive investor, Enterprise Ireland has no, inter no enterprise development role in Ardmore or any involvement in its day-to-day -day operations. Furthermore, while Enterprise Ireland offers supports to exporting companies involved in film and the creative sector, policy res responsibility for the development of the film industry rests with my colleague Heather Humphreys, TD, Minister for Arts, Heritage, Regional, Rural and Guelph Affairs. The sale of the Ardmore Studios is a commercial decision by the majority owners of the studios. Ardmore Studios is being placed on the market for sale, and I want to stress this as a going concern. Enterprise Ireland has not placed any preconditions on the pending sale of Ardmore Studios due to the existence of planning restrictions on the site which safeguard its use as a film-making studio into the future. Wicklow County Council has confirmed this and they agree to maintain the film-only zoning as a matter of policy. Enterprise Ireland's primary concern will be to maintain the business as a going concern as well as ensuring the best economic and financial return for the state. Enterprise Ireland will make its, make its decision in consultation with the Minister for Jobs, Enterprise and Innovation, who in turn will consult the Minister for Arts, Heritage, Regional and Rural Affairs. Now, I really want to assure you that both I and Minister Humphreys will do whatever we feel is best to support Ardmore continuing as a strong commercial proposition and a key piece of infrastructure for the development of the film industry in Ireland, not only to safeguard employment, but also to enhance employment prospects in the film sector. Minister, at, at, at many levels I welcome what you say, but there, there are a few things I would like to hear to be uh, more assured. First of all, that there should be absolutely no consideration of uh, the government selling its stake uh, in Ardmore. Uh, critical to maintaining it uh, is for the government uh, to retain that stake. The zoning is not in and of itself sufficient protection because it could be bought, somebody could sit on it for a couple of years uh, and if it was left derelict uh, then the zoning could be changed further down the line. What we need now is to ensure that there is intervention sufficient to ensure that it continues as a, a working uh, studio, whatever is necessary to do that. Whether that is a viable concern taking over uh, the rest of the uh, filmmaking concern, taking over uh, the share, the private share that is being sold uh, by Ozzy Kilkenny and Paul McGuinness, uh, or facilitating a workers' buyout, as has been suggested, or even full scale nationalisation uh, if that is necessary in order uh, to sustain it. Uh, and you know, it's worth saying, there's, I, don't know, I, I wouldn't want to put a figure on its overall value, uh, but certainly at the meeting yesterday it was suggested that the economic impact of that studio working at full capacity when it's in full uh, production is about three or four times in one year what it might be sold for. Right, so the, level, the, the value back for the local area, for the economy, in terms of employment, is several multiples of what we might have to pay for it if we decided to nationalise it, if, the, if that is necessary. So what we need is that commitment that it's simply no option will be considered that will lead to its closure. Uh, and that whatever is necessary to be done to ensure that it survives will be done by government because it can be done by government. Thank you,
Thank you. Hello. Thanks Hello. very much. And first of all, I have had three meetings with the uh, group, one with the workers one, and the unions, and then one with the Oireachtas members, and then another meeting with the Oireachtas members and Wicklow County Council and the Chief Executive of County Council. So maybe just to clarify, first of all, I know I hear you talking about nationalising and that, but to be fair, Enterprise Ireland are not a film production company. They're not a Disney. They will never be able to make these films that you mentioned that won Oscars. So that's not their expertise. But what their expertise is to make sure that, that the very best outcome comes. And I gave you that commitment. Pardon? Yeah, absolutely. And not Enterprise Ireland. And, but the workers... But can I just... just can, I, can I finish? Now, we had the meeting with Wicklow County Council. And all of these people were at the, at the meeting. So Brian Doyle, the Chief Executive of the Wicklow County Council, wrote to me in black and white, welcomed the Minister's recognition of the importance of Ardmore Studios to County Wicklow and indeed to the Mideast regions and her acknowledgement that the development of the film industry is a key pillar of the action plan for jobs for the region. And that's what Enterprise Ireland are good at. And I also, as the Minister, quote, as the Minister acknowledged, the audiovisual industry is one of the primary objectives set out in that action plan. Wicklow is the lead authority in this action area. The local enterprise, Leo Wicklow, together with four other Leos in the southeast, has initiated the Southeastern Creative Corridor project aimed at creating a vibrant, viable and growing cluster in the region. Um, he, I emphasised at that meeting that the intention was that the studios would be sold as a going concern. I, and I, I keep saying that, it's a going concern. And that any final decision that would be taken would be with myself and also with the Minister for Arts. Thank you, they also, just, I just want to clarify, they absolutely, all of those county councillors, plus the Chief Executive, gave me a strong commitment that the zoning would not change. Now, you know about zoning. You've been a county councillor. So if the county councillors are going to be influenced by the local reps, by the local people, then it will never change. And just again, I'm going to say, Enterprise Ireland, the Minister, wants it as a going concern. And as I said, we're, not, we're not film production companies. We haven't that expertise, but we have the expertise to Thank make sure Minister. that we develop the action plan for, for film Thank production you, in the area.